everybody. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. I'm Melina with Me Crafty Scrapper on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today, I wanted to share with you what I made with the last bits of my Up and Away Coco Daisy kit from this month, April 2020. This kit is so cheery and the colors are amazing. I love the aquas in it. That's one of my favorite colors. Just all the rainbow aspects of it and the hot air balloons and the florals. They're just beautiful. I wanted to use every last bit of this kit. And this is what I made with just some of the bits and pieces left over. It's going to be a snippet that goes along with my war binder. And um, I have a video that um, I made a couple of years ago showing my war binder setup. And um, feel free to visit that and view that for me. But I wanted to do a little snippet with some Bible verses and my thoughts for during um, this time in our lives. I don't think anybody that's having to live through the times that we're living in right now. And I wanted to give myself um, something to look back on um, with this and something that could travel with me if I wanted it to, or it could just stay in my war binder um, bag along with my journals and stuff for that. Um, so this is what I came up with. I used a die, one of the Spellbinders dies. And this is one of my favorite sets. It has uh, maybe five different sizes on it. I used the largest and it looks like it's a rectangle, but it looks like um, maybe torn paper. So I used the largest size on that one. And I'm sorry, I don't know what the name is on that, but I did get that from um, uh, scrapbookingwithme.com along with all of the adhesives and things that I used for it. Um, I run that through my Big Shot machine with just some scrap white paper or white card stock. And this is a great way to use up lots of scraps. I'm uh, in a scrap using mood here lately. I'm gonna take this binder um, ring off and I just have some of the Baker's Twine from the kit this um, month. I love yarn, I love to crochet. So when I saw that there was Baker's Twine, I went a little crazy. And I've used it in pretty much every project that I've used in this kit. <laughs> so anyway, this is the cover, I guess you could call it, of that, um, little, I guess, uh, brag book is what they used to call it. And they would put, uh, pictures and journal in it and stuff. I don't think I'm going to put any pictures, but, um, like I said, it's just going to be, um, some verses and some of my thoughts of, um, this past month of what's been going on. But I used a die cut. It says living life on purpose and, uh, let it hang off a little bit there. And, I used my um, Creative Memories circle punches and punched some more of that white cardstock and then some paper from the kit. And then that's a die cut. And I kind of lined up this stem here that I cut out of uh, one of the three by four cards and lined it up with that, you know, to make it look purposeful. And then I did a bow with the Baker's Twine. And um, I adhered that on with some glue dots, just tiny little glue dots and put that on there with that. Um, something new that I used um, with this is this little hole punch. And I guess it's um, more for reinforcing uh, in your planner and stuff, but I used it here and reinforced those holes that I punched out with my crocodile there. So those little rings are cut with that paper punch. 
and I think I got that paper punch at um, uh, Tuesday morning, and it was like four bucks or something. So it was, it was a good buy in my opinion. But I used some dimensional adhesive and popped that up a little bit so that everything kind of looked popped up off of the top for that cover. So that's the cover and of course it's going to have the binder clip there and it's gonna flip up and I'll write on the back of each one of these, but that's the cover of it. The next page has this cute um, hot air balloon die cut there and then I punched another circle out of the papers and then that was another die cut that was in the kits so coco daisy makes it really really simple to put all this stuff together and it all coordinate then this is the next little page and all of these on the pages um the backs are blank because i'm going to be writing on them and i did um on each one, there's a square of paper, and um, I just measured each one of them exactly the same, cut out the papers, and adhered them on with my um, Scotch Advanced Tape Glider. On this one, I used some of the little um, raindrop, let me get those, the raindrop puppy stickers, and... Um, one of the, this is from the memory keeping sticker kit, like that you would use maybe in your planner also. So that's one of those. And I just kind of uh, put it on crooked a little bit and cut the, um, the rest off at the bottom. I used three more stickers. Well, two more stickers and more alpha stickers there going places and um you know like right now we can't really go any place and I thought that was kind of ironic I will put some things about not being able to go places on the back there there's that third page and then the fourth page I love this banner cardstock I didn't want to cover it up too much so I used um, my circle punch once again, punched out a piece of the papers. There is that scrap piece of paper that I used from the kits and used a small little uh, phrase sticker from that same set of um, memory um, planner stickers. And then a one of the clear stickers this is all one piece the sun and live in the sunshine is all one piece but it's clear so i added that at the bottom of that fourth page and so this all just kind of goes together and i'll have it as a little memento of um, our world today i'm really looking forward to um writing in that because you know this has not been easy but I know that there's a plan. There's a um, bigger purpose for all of this and we're all gonna get through it. So I wanted to have a little way to commemorate that. So there you go, that's what it is. I'm not sure that I love how the Baker's Twine looks at the top. I might have to ruffle it up just a little bit, um, rough it up some and get it to my liking but there it is and um i thank you so much for stopping by checking it out i'll have a still photo at the end so you can pause the video if you want to and look further get more details if you need any more information on how i got it all put together leave me a comment below and i will try my best to answer any questions you have thanks so much y'all have a great day god bless